America's Got Talent top finalist, and of course, America's very own mystifier, Magic Mike, or no, Mike Super, not Magic Mike. <laughs> Mike Super. That's right, I have no app. <laughs> Thank you for joining us at the Morning Blend. And I'm so excited to have you because we actually showed one of the clips that I do remember you from when you um, did that trick with the numbers with Howie and he was totally freaked out about it. Is that what we can expect at this show that's coming to the Tampa Bay area? Yes. So I'm going to be doing all the magic I did on America's Got Talent, uh, as well as new stuff. And the great thing is all of the magic is interactive, just like I did with the judges uh, on AGT. So uh, we have some old favorites. My imaginary friend Desmond will be there. Uh, and also we have some brand new stuff. It's going to be amazing. Now, before we talk a little bit more about the show, and of course, I know that you have some tricks for us here today. I really want to know, how did you start in all of this? Is this a dream that you had as a kid, or did you kind of just stumble upon the opportunity to becoming a magician? I owe it all to my grandfather, who one day, I was six years old, showed me this little card trick he learned when he was in the war, right? And he wouldn't show me how it was done. And it was amazing to me. And as opportunity arose, uh, we were going on vacation to Disney World, and they had a magic shop. And I said, listen, I'm going in this magic shop, and I'm going to find out how my grandfather did this trick. Uh, and it started a lifelong obsession with magic. And it, it kind of came full circle because I've actually even gotten to do magic for Disney. Wow, that's incredible. And of course, I remember when I was a kid that we would buy these little kits and stuff like that. Is that what you're talking about? Is that what you used to play with your like, neighbors and friends and stuff like that? Listen, I used to do shows in my uh, front yard for all of the neighbors with all those little plastic doodads right. that they still sell, by the way. They the do. exact same things. <laughs> so, yes, that's how I did it. That's amazing. And I know you have the show coming up. Can you tell us a little bit more about what can the public expect? Are we? Do we get to go on stage with you? Do you get to do these tricks with the public? That's a great question. No one has ever asked that. But the answer is yes. And it's what makes me so excited about this show because everybody gets to take part, which adds a lot of spontaneity. So it keeps the show different for me every single night. But we're going to do fun things. It's a family based show. Okay. Uh, so you can bring all ages. However, we're going to be doing fun things like predicting the lottery, the Powerball numbers. So <laughs> who knows? You go home, you play those numbers, maybe yes. end up a gazillionaire. Uh, we're going to do voodoo magic. Uh, it's hilarious on a spectator in the audience. And usually the spectator's wife always offers to buy the doll from me oh. after the show. <laughs> uh, and uh, we are going to uh, have a bunch of surprises that I can't give away because uh, it's much more exciting with the suspense. Okay, Mike Super told me off camera that he had a little trick that he wanted me to partake in. Are you ready? Because I am. I'm so excited about this. Yes, yes. So listen, this this is going to seem strange, but I'm removing my wristwatch here, okay? <laughs> uh, and you know the little pin in the side of the wristwatch? Mm -hmm. for, and I'm saying this for any kids that might be watching. These are analog watches, so you used to pull that pin out and spin the hands to set the time. That's what we're going to do right now. Uh, so, like, Carmen, I'm going to spin like this. Now, even now, I don't know where the hands of the watch are. And I'm assuming you don't either, true? I don't. <laughs> I cannot okay. even see that so, far in, so I don't know. Nope, that's okay. So do me a favor. What I want you to do is whenever you'd like, tell me when to stop spinning. Okay. You can stop now. Right there. Okay. Yes. Boop. I'm, now, this is interesting. I'm not going to tell you what time it is, but we're going to try an experiment. I want you to pretend you have to come uh, to work and be on air at a strange time. Okay, strange time. Just like... a strange hour of the day from um, 1 to 12. Give me a number between 1 and 12. Your choice, by the way. Um, 3. Okay, so 3 what? I need it kind of down to the minute. So we need a minute from 1 to 59. Uh, 17. Okay, so this is really, really weird. Okay, you couldn't see the watch. No, there's no okay. way you could have known that. <laughs> Okay, there's, listen, you are the one that stopped me. This is, we, you and I have a psychic connection because if you take a look uh -huh. at the time on the watch. Stop. 
You stopped me at exactly 317. Oh Amazing. Okay, you got to tell me when we're done with this, how do you do all this? Because this is incredible. And you mentioned that this is yes. for the whole family. So are you uh, able to bring the kids up there too so they can partake in the whole action with the magic tricks? Yes, absolutely. Okay. In fact, with, with your permission, I can bring the whole family into a trick right now with your viewers yeah. and you. Yes, let's do Is that. Is that okay? Okay. Yes, absolutely. So check this out. Really quickly, I want uh, you and your viewers to take a look at those playing cards. Okay. All right. Uh, there's different suits, colors, and numbers. Uh, I want everybody watching right now, in including you, Saudi Carmen, look uh -huh. at one card and memorize it, but don't say it. Have you got one? Mm -hmm. Okay, remember only that card, because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try and make it disappear. If I can make it disappear, you and everybody else has to at least consider buying tickets to my show at the Mahat. <laughs> we'll we'll Here we go, watch, ready? They don't leave your sight, boom. I snap and one card starts to disappear. It's turning blank and it's not just any card. I want you to look, I think you'll find. Let me see. Oh, I can't see it because of the glare. Could you tell us which You're one it is? <sighs> now I can see, yes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It is gone. <laughs> it was, uh, can I say it? Uh, sure, in fact, here, before you say it. Okay. I have a deck of cards right here. What card, everybody thought of a different card, but you I thought did. of one. Yes, right? I did. Do me a favor. I want you to even change your mind again. Think okay. of any card. Have you got one? Yes. Okay. Uh, this has been in full view. Tell the viewers, what card did you just change to and think of? Uh, Ace of Hearts. Ace of Hearts. Here's the cool thing. Check it out. Before we started this interview, I wanted to finish it uh, with a big finale. One uh -huh. card in that deck is upside down and only one. I want you to take a look. The only card upside down in that deck <laughs> with your ace of hearts. I cannot so believe this. Coming to the show. <laughs> I love it. Yes, of course. And this show with Mike Super will be on June 25th at the Mahaffey Theater in St. Petersburg. All the information for you to enjoy with your family. And of course, be mind blown like I did on your screen. Thank you so much for joining us today at The Blend. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.